Hey everybody, it's Post Games here. Welcome back to Stellaris here with the Federation of Elector Systems. We last left off, we're continuously fighting with a... De what's the word? Deficit of minerals and also, of course, which is probably caused by our constant expansion and our, our lack of building tall. We're building very wide right now. But I, I want to do that as building wide is important early game, I would say. And then once you've got all your borders closed in, then you build tall from that point on. Here we go, Dolaris is finished. We're gonna build a star base in Manward in the binary system here which has has a neutron star I'd always be sketched out by neutron stars nothing should be that dense okay other than my skull nothing should be that dense that's just freaky and oh my goodness okay I was wrong I thought that the previous like the the incumbent party would win in the case of a tie but apparently not apparently it could just go either way or something because the previous opposition leader Bud Light which as I if you haven't checked the previous episodes uh, actually I think it was the first episode Bud Light is a randomly generated name. I did not make that. Yes, it's still funny. So what is his campaign promise as a leader? Where do I find that again? Situation log. Energy infrastructure. Two additional generator districts. These might do it on their own. Potentially, we don't need more energy though. Why would you make that your what you're running? How did you win the election if that's what you're running on, is to get more energy? That's not the problem. Minerals is the problem. What a dumbass. Who elected this guy? You're all hooligans, I tell you. Also. This this governor must be absolute trash because I don't know who gets a negative 24 deficit in minerals and just goes, yes, this is fine. This is exactly where we want to be. No, I want to build things and now I can't because our minerals are running out. And we can't trade with anybody. Because we have no freaking minerals. Wow. So I need this guy to hurry up and start building these f minerals uh, mines. And also for us to just get more population so we can fill these mining jobs. Mining jobs first, bureaucrat second. If you fill this bureaucrat job first, whoo, I'm not going to be very happy with you. And we have three mining jobs here, none of them being fulfilled. Have babies, please, somebody just pop out a kid. People do it, uh, like, on accident anyway, like all the time, so just, just do it, just pop the pop the baby out please please for the sake of the empire there we go we are now breaking even thank the lord for that and no do not I, I am not going to make the mistake of building these research stations because they each cost wait Oh, no, 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 they, they cost, they don't, their upkeep is in power, not minerals. We can spend 
the minerals. Uh, but we don't really have much for minerals to spend. So we're going to wait a bit here. Piscus. Um, t -t -t we take you. Upkeep, yes. Let's get Piscus first so we can pick up the minerals here. And then we'll just finish up the research stations in both of those later. Receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet, the source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Research that. Do not attach do not attach the tracking beacon to our ship, because that just seems not like a great idea. But I know somebody would do it. Somebody out there. You can think of that person. You you know who that person is. You know a person that would do that. Don't lie. I'm hoping we get more trade out of this area because, like, Jengal here is a great trade spot. Like, this is just a great system overall. I like this system. This system's good. I am all for the continuation. Nimolon had dirt nothing of importance in it. Good to know. Go to Hadar. And our manward guy can just build a starbase. Keep building starbase because we don't want to use research stations since we are now finally breaking even on our minerals. We're still waiting for them to pop. Wow, we have 10, 10 housing. Crime. What's what's going on with crime? Slight crime. Very slight crime. But there will always be crime. So let's just yeah, we'll just say that there will always be crime. Wow. Uh, over time, the Association of Scientific Scholars continues to grow a small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Binami C2 it appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals the miners it meant was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still there fascinating fascinating free resources good times what the heck whoa 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 what the heck was that environmental effects shield notification a hundred Oh, it's because of the the nebula, the dust clouds here. Oh. Interesting. But it's yeah, it says that what? You can they block outside centers and sensors from being able to see into the systems. So like if if my fleet was here and they had a fleet here, like there was an enemy fleet, does that mean they couldn't see that I am here? Because that could be useful. Ambush, ambush tactics, guerrilla warfare. Yes, we have ten housing. Please, somebody fill it. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Please. Also, can we discover another race? Like, uh, uh, we are v quite large for having never seen another race before. Just saying. Oh. Uh, we have a strategic resource discovered. How do you say that? 
Zro, a rare aerosol of exotic particles. Uh, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. So yeah, psionically gifted individuals. Uh, we are not psionically gifted. I I don't believe. Is that is that a race thing? Like do you, do you, I don't remember that being a choice. But is that a race thing that you get to have? Um, psionic abilities, or is that just like person to person? Because that's good to know. Definitely, definitely good to know. Is this like a gas giant that you get this from? No, a toxic world produces some kind of gas that you inhale. I don't know. I don't. That sounds sketchy to me. I don't know if I'd want to willingly ingest the gas. Uh, from a planet that looks like this this just it doesn't doesn't look like uh, something that you'd want to ingest also how would they know this without testing it out like that that that's something that you'd need you couldn't just scan the gas and be like yeah this is how it works. Like, it, it would help people that are, like, whatever psionic even means. Um, yeah, you, that's, that, you can do that here. That's not a thing. Like, you'd have to test it out. Because it's probably got chemicals that we've never, that our people have never even had before in it. And there we go. We have finally making 11 minerals Yay! Woot woot! Good times, and of course it'll continue to get better because there's still two minor jobs here, and another two here. So there will be there will be more being produced, and we got a science ship up at Hadar. Has this been surveyed? Unsurveyed. We're gonna go. We are now going to survey that. Sam. Actually, should we? No, no, no. Let's go survey this here because it's just we can kind of grab this kind of centralized looking area here. Do we still save our resources? Our minerals for making more minerals? I believe so. I'm just gonna say it. I think so. I think that might be smart. Let's go get Nimmo Lan. We should probably explore a bit this way, because right now we we know nothing. Uh what is this two systems like three systems away from our capital which is defended by uh, this these this absolute great amount of defense we ever speaking of defense we can build ourselves a defense platform just in case while we're thinking about it nothing wrong with being a little proactive about the defense of our capital Our empire sprawl is still going up. Not clue. I've still have no clue why. Like all of these numbers fluctuate. Couldn't tell you why. In all honesty, I don't know what changes half of them. And we're about to get more administrative capacity, so we we can continue to expand at quite a speed if we do choose to do so. 
such as here. Build a star base. Oh, you have to fully survey before you build a star base? That's stupid. You know, we don't need to know what's on the planets before we build something on the star. Who made this rule? Huh? It's a stupid rule. I think that's a stupid rule. Maybe you don't, but your opinion doesn't matter on this. Uh-huh. My playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding. Your guys' opinion matter. Of course, drop a comment. Drop those opinions. Here's our sector. Which I... Uh, does anyone... Okay. Does anyone know if you can just, like, expand it? To... To, like, involve... Eon Station? Can, like, I... Can I move this? Because the fact that it's just alone on its own... I... I do not like... Not a fan of the fact that this station is just just there. It'll never be part of a sector at this rate. Actually, it might, because, yeah, there is Voldop uh, 3 here, which is an ocean world. It's our next expansion point for worlds. And in all on it, w it is a core world. It will, always, it will be. Um... Of course, we never know. Uh, we might be able to get, like, more habit habitability here on something like P3 if we get a an alien species that can survive on continental worlds better. And then we'll just have kind of like this really close-knit uh, core world sector. And our other sectors are going to be, yeah, like... There's nothing else that'll really be that will really qualify. I don't think there anything there will. Well, maybe, because I think it's a I think it's a four. Is it a four jump? It might be the four jump from like the the capital or whatever of that region. So yeah, pretty much almost most likely, unless there's something right here. In either of these or maybe one two three four no nope. pretty much yeah if there's nothing in like these two here there will no there will be no more core worlds but yeah okay we have a tradition we can get we have all of our expansion ones maybe we go for discovery as we are can still very much discovering stuff and then we can go for stuff like prosperity and army or even diplomacy after that but I think just yeah survey speed research research station that increased that like this this is great actually this is really good uh, let's get that boom just that itself gained us free research speed perfect speaking of that we now can start this we can either get new more society research uh hydroponics which gets us more food uh hydroponics bay which goes on your star base which i will pretty much never use or just more farm more food overall which I don't think I don't think we're too far like maybe this might be useful but for now I think just getting that extra research for once we get a good option and we are done in by Nami it only gave us four which isn't phenomenal but it'll do it's it's more more resources and you can get started on that star base since you're already there. Good, good, good. The one problem, uh, actually what I'm, I hope that this stuff out here, like these two out right here, 
Is this inside the dust cloud? Oh no. This is in the dust cloud, because the problem is the dust cloud gets rid of, like slows down your ships traveling through it. We made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the, the, the Hadar system. For now, we have codenamed them Beta Aliens. Until we can find out more about them, they possess a language we must decipher it in order to establish communications. Interesting first contact with an unknown entity. Egg Agonmatic spacefarers. The Federation of Electric Systems has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Karab following the report from our contact fleet can be best described as rapturous. Wow, they are very excited people. That is quite... Okay. So this is just like... They're, they're independent. They're not even an empire. Oh, frick. What the hell? We have lots of people we can send. I guess we'll just send our youngest person. Go hang out with the, the beta. I don't even. That, isn't that a that, that seems a little insulting. To just name them beta aliens, seems a little, a little rude. Okay, that's like that's like saying we're the alphas. Is that a, is that racist? I think that, I think that counts as racism, guys. That's not great. Not not a good thing to do. But, anyways. I'm going to let leave things off here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. Drop a comment, whatever you want to say. Especially whatever I asked you to uh, talk about previously uh, in this episode. And if you want to do yourself a favor and do me a favor, turn that little red subscribe button down below into a gray subscribe button. And, of course, if you want to join my Discord, it's in my YouTube About section. Three clicks and you can join. And you guys have a really good rest of your day.